Hey guys, welcome back to another Animal Crossing New Horizons video. If you want to watch some live playthrough of the game and hang out with me and uh, play along, uh, you can go to twitch.tv slash phillybeatsyou. Link will be pinned in the comments down below. Now, let's talk about today's video. Uh, I saw your guys comment on the other video about how do you do a Pokeball design. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to put designs basically on any outfit you want on top of putting it even on your Nook phone. So uh, guys, let's get right into this. All right, so here we are in uh, the Animal Crossing land. As you can see, I have a Pokeball design on my hat. I have a Pokeball design on my hoodie. And I also have a Pokeball design on my phone, as you can tell. When you open up your phone, you see something called custom designs, right? Uh, everyone who starts off the game has this. So you can create a custom design. Now, please be aware that phones uh, are going to use custom designs only and not use pro designs, okay? So I'm gonna show you how to make a Pokeball in general. So uh, let's go ahead and make one from scratch. Um, for this example, I'm gonna show you a pro design that you can get via the Nook Miles uh, that you can buy for 800 Nook Miles. Um, and then you can make some pro designs for hats and hoodies and all that stuff. So let's go ahead. I'm gonna pop open this pro pattern and uh, we're gonna change the design. Uh, you have the options of picking, you know, tank top, short sleeve, long sleeve, coat, hoodie, sweater, whatever you want, or even dresses. You can make a pokey, Pokeball dress and hats. Uh, for this example, I'm going to pick the hoodie because, you know, hoodies are kind of cool. All right, so you're going to have this whole entire uh, outline. It's going to cross section and dot up the shirt. I personally just like using the dead on midline. So I'm going to wipe off every single thing that has a dotted line. Take that out of the picture first. And then it's time to make the Pokeball. All right. So get your black uh, marker ready or pen tool. So get your black marker pen tool ready. And uh, here's how we're going to start. So I'm going to go about maybe. I, I, I think right about here. Yeah, yeah. Three above from the midline. So we're going to make four. One, two, three, four. Okay. Then right after those four, you're going to go down. And you can use this tool if you want to make your life easier. You hit Z and it's going to duplicate what you're doing. Uh, so go ahead and do one, two on the sides, right? After you do one, two on the sides, you're going to go down one, two, do another skip, and you're going to go four. One, two, three, four. At this point, you're going to copy that again. One, two, right? Do another skip. One, two. And then you're going to finally go for the middle part. One, two, three, four. All right, just like that. So you got your basic outline of the Pokeball. Now go to the third one up on the longest section that you made coming down. You know, third one up or third one down. And uh, you're going to go one, two, three, four, five. And then you go right here. Boom. Boom. And uh, you have basically the outline of your Pokeball done. At this point, I'm going to turn off that tool. I'm then going to move to the color red. And I'm going to select my tools. Just go ahead and paint the top of your Pokeball. Boom. There you go. Red Pokeball on top. Now, it's a, it's a little boring on its own uh, for this hoodie design. So uh, I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of a plus here. Make a little plus symbol. It'll add a little more design to it. So now the Pokeball, as you can see, has a little sparkle to it. Something a little different, not just as boring and bland. Now, this is a hoodie design, so uh, you can go ahead and now pick whatever color you want your hoodie to be. If you're if you're into the blues, we can go ahead and uh, go to our paint tools. If you don't like the specific shade of blue, uh, you can go to the change color section, which is the top right most tool. Um, and then you're going. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna I don't know maybe make it a little more darker, you know, a little oomph to it. Uh, make it a little dark color. All right, I like that. Then I'm gonna select my fill tool, and I'm gonna boom. All right, so now we got a dark blue uh, Pokeball hoodie. Uh, don't forget, you also have sleeves that you got to take care of. Uh, just like before, you're going to want to um, knock out all of the the little patterns. I'm not a big fan of the patterns. So um, let me just go ahead and take out these pattern marks here. All right, the next thing you want to do is just go ahead and paint the rest of the hoodie by pressing the R button, you know, completely getting it into the color that you want. Uh, specifically for design purposes, if you want to step up, step it up, you can go with the athletic kind of um, feel where you run a a line. So if you want that Adidas kind of look, you we can go up uh, via one two on the on the side. We can have one stripe here, uh, and we can do a second stripe here. So it kind of has that that um, that track kind of feeling. So that's 
we could do that for that or you could go with a single line um if you don't if you if you're if that's not your thing uh you could go with the single line uh for this video i'm gonna go with the double line over here and uh for the cuff of the sleeve since we're already kind of doing something here uh, i'm gonna extend the tool out and we're gonna cover the whole entire sleeve so what i'll do is i will go like that and we'll go one up so it's gonna be four blocks total uh coming up from the bottom to get that design so there you go there's my cuff on my sleeve uh, for this hoodie. Uh, what we're going to do is then we're going to right click and do the exact same thing on the other side. Okay, then you're going to go to the other sleeve of your hoodie. Do the exact same thing we just talked about. You know, it's going to be four up to completely cover that. Um, and then we're going to go back to our tool. We're going to go our pen tool. Uh, we're going to pick the... We're going to go with the double line style. So we said uh, two up from the side. Uh, so we're going to go one. Coming up like that. And uh, then we'll run the second one uh, right there. We can do that. We can run a little white section coming up from the back to just give it the little em emphasis uh, up to the hood. So you can do that and then, you know, clear off what doesn't look right on the hood. So you're going to go up here until we hit the part where we don't need to. And boom. There we go. There is our Pokeball hoodie. It looks fantastic. Uh, this is the style I I'm going for on this one. Obviously, you can change what you want, you know, add a little extra stuff change up the sleeves depending on how you want to go about it. But yeah, I'm pretty satisfied with this hoodie. So here's our Pokeball hoodie. Uh, it's going to be a pro pattern confirmed. Looks pretty good. And uh, go ahead and uh, equip it. I'm going to wear this one now. It looks really good, actually. It looks yeah, pretty decent. Uh, so, you know, we could check out our character. He's got the sides, the lines coming on the sides. Very cool. Very professional. Um, if we knock off the backpack, we can go ahead and, uh, see what exactly we, uh, look like on the back. So let me knock off the backpack. All right. Keep my character turned around and you can see the white stripe on the hoodie on the back. Very cool. Oh, what's up, Mr. Lion? Okay. Uh, the next thing that you want to do is, uh, your Nook phone. Okay. So when it comes to using your Nook phone in, uh, Animal Crossing, and you want to customize that design of the phone. You have to be aware that the only design that you can use are custom designs. Now, if you were to use this regular Pokeball design that's dead center, it's going to be cut off by the Animal Crossing logo. So if you notice on my phone, the pattern is much lower towards the bottom. Uh, here's my Pokeball pattern um, I, I have. So you guys can take a look at what I did there. So when it comes to phones, uh, I drop the pattern all the way to the bottom of the phone. So if you want, you can take a screenshot, look at this, and uh, copy paste that onto your phone. Um, and make sure to drop it on the bottom because, again, the Animal Crossing symbol will cut off the top design of whatever you're doing. So if you want a symbol or something cool, drop it lower than that. And uh, yeah, that's that's really it. So uh, I hope this, this little customization video um, helped you guys out in terms of how to design something. You know, even if it's not Pokeball symbols, you can get an idea of how to design a hoodie and go about that stuff. And not just use QR codes that people pass, but be creative and do your own things. Uh, again, feel free to drop by on twitch.tv slash philly beats you and uh you can you can we can talk about your designs there we can rate them even visit your island you can come to mine we can we can check them out on stream uh as well as make sure to leave that like button subscribe and uh yeah we'll make more videos like this and i also have a really uh cool animal crossing series coming soon so uh i'll let you guys know about that thanks for watching again everybody i hope you have a great time in your animal crossing worlds and i will see you in the next video this is philly beats you and i'm uh, peacing out Hello. Oh, 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 oh.